There are very few dishes that shout out Italy and spaghetti with meatballs is certainly one of those. Today, let's see my take on this classic recipe. Hey guys, this is the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curried. For this, we need some spaghetti, of course, which we would start boiling in roll boiling water. This goes in the water without breaking and make sure the water is well salted. Keep pushing this a little, make sure you do not break the strands of spaghetti. While this is cooking, let's start making the meatballs. I'm taking some minced meat. To this, I'm adding some breadcrumbs. These are fresh breadcrumbs. For some flavor, there's going to be fresh garlic, which I'm going to bash up and mince roughly. Just chop it roughly. For some sweet flavor, I'm going to use some curled parsley. Just take the leaves, bundle it up together and chop it as fine as you can. Well, after this, I'm going to use a rocking motion. I'm following this up with some fresh rosemary. This is going to add to the nice robust flavor of the meat. Just going to use the leaves, discard the stalk or you can use this for your soups. Again, bundle this up and chop it as fine as you can. For some flavor and seasoning, I'm going to use salt. For spiking up the flavor of the meat, cinnamon powder, along with freshly crushed black pepper. Well, alternately, you can also use some chili flakes, paprika or cayenne pepper. For binding, I'm going to use an egg. Well, after this, let's quickly check the doneness of the spaghetti. This seems to be done. Perfectly done. Let's drain this out. Drain out all the excess water. To this, I'm just going to splash a little bit of olive oil. This could be pomace in this case. Just a quick toss. And now, let's move on to the meatballs again. Let's mix this mixture. While this is done best with your hands, you could also alternatively use a food processor. In case you need a nice cheesy flavor to this, you could also use some Parmesan cheese. While I'm mixing this, let's heat a pan on moderate flame. While the pan is heated up, let's add in some olive oil. And to flavor the oil, I'm using some bay leaves. Along with this, some fresh rosemary and let's start making the meatballs for this i'm dipping my fingers in some cold water and making lemon sized balls this goes straight in the pan turn these over and make sure they're nice and golden brown on all sides. Well, it's been five to six minutes that I'm constantly turning these over and these are three-fourth cooked now. Let's transfer these on a plate. For the sauce, let's first start cutting the vegetables. For this, some garlic. Chop this up roughly now. And let's place this aside. Let's chop a red onion. Some slices of mushrooms. In this case, some button mushrooms. With this, I'm also going to chop in some blanched tomatoes. Make sure you remove the skin as well as the seeds. Once the tomatoes are chopped, I'll make the sauce in the same pan as that of the meatballs. But before that, let's discard the rosemary. Make sure there's a single bay leaf still in the pan. Let's top up with the remaining oil. In the warm pan, I'll slide in the onion and garlic. and saute this till it becomes nice and translucent. 
This would take 30 to 40 seconds. After which, I'll add in the sliced mushrooms. To this, some salt and pepper. And in go the tomatoes. To increase the sweet flavor of this sauce, I'll be tearing in some fresh basil leaves. And to this, very little sugar and this is completely optional. A quick mix and half a cup of lukewarm water. At this stage, I'll be transferring the meatballs into the sauce. Give this a mix. and allow this to poach. It's been six minutes and I'm sure the meatballs are perfectly done. Let's quickly check. Well, time to add in the spaghetti. Along with this, for some additional flavor, I'm adding in some butter. And let's give this a nice toss. As soon as this is mixed, off goes the flame and let's begin with the plating. Here's your simple, easy and home style spaghetti with meatballs which is ready. Do try it at home and wait for what next the Bombay chef gets into your kitchen. Do not forget to like and share our videos and subscribe to get curried.